Hello. Hello, is anybody here? Hello, class, can you hear me? Hi, hi. Can you hear? Hi, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah. we can. Yeah, oh, we great, can. great. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. What about you? Well, I'm I'm fine. I'm thank you. All right, let's wait for more people to be connecting. How was your weekend? For me, what's okay? I just stayed home. Okay, what did you do? I watched TV in my house. I mean, you always do something in your home anyway. Yeah, I just watch TV. I'm not I'm going, going now. You didn't go out. Okay, so are more people in? Hi. There you go, now I see more people. Okay. I'm going to ask you for a favor. If you have a camera, can you please turn it on? And this is because InsoForp is requiring this because when they do, um, when they when they start checking, okay. they want that's how they they know that people are connected. Mm. Because we had many problems before in other classes that um, people just connect and they, I don't know they're on their yeah. Facebook or watching TV or something. And then they started, you know, so then they decided to um, change this. All right, so uh, thank you, I appreciate it. So I'm gonna be your teacher today. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good evening, good night, good night. Good evening, good night, good night, goodbye. So, how was your weekend, class? It was great. It was okay. Relax. Uh, looking to learn every day something new. Nice. I like that. Okay, since this is our first class, um, tell me a little bit about you, Eduardo. Where do you live? Okay. Uh, hi, Mister. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, I thank you. Hear, I didn't hear. Uh, uh, I didn't hear uh, your name. What's your name? Oh, my name is David Baltrons. Okay, David. Me... Okay, hi, David. David what? David Baltrons. David Baltrons. Baltrons. Yes. Okay, baby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mister. Thank you very much. So, tell me, what do you? What do you? Uh, where do you live, Eduardo? Okay, okay. I live in San Salvador, but exactly in Antigua, Guatemala. Oh, okay, great. And what do you do, sir? Okay, I I have company. I sell fuel to the industry. Um, it's kind of, I can't hear you that good. Okay. Well, well, uh, now? I don't know. 
it's like I can hear you in a distance. Wait, you now? I can hear much better. Okay, okay, now it's there. Okay, I work uh, for a company. I sell, I sell fuel to the industry. You sell fuel. Yeah, to the industry. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, thank you, Eduardo. Right. Brian Alexander, how are you, sir? I'm fine. Uh, nice to meet you, and also for everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm 23 years old. Uh, I have just finished uh, my university. I am now a chemical engineer and I'm looking for work and to learn many abilities that I know that are very useful for the industry. Very good. Thank you, Brian. Congratulations. Thank and you. I, I, I hope pleasure. you have a great future in front of you. Okay, um, Thank Kelly. You. Hi. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Uh, I am fine. Uh, well, my name is Kelly Mesa, and I work as an employee in um, let me see, in a mall, <laughs> in a shop mall. And oh, yeah. yeah, well, um, so my. What do you do? Do you work like in the store, or do you work like in the administration of the mall, or? Um, Actually, I work uh, as a, a administration assistant, something like this. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, and um, I am glad to be here, and I have many expected to to learn about or improve my abilities to speak English. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Gladys. How are you? Uh, I'm great teacher. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Where do you live? What do you do? Yeah, um, I live in the center of San Salvador. I'm sorry, and, where? Uh, in the center of San Salvador. In downtown? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm sorry, I have a question. When people say downtown, is, is it like La Vega? <laughs> no. Or... Because I don't know, if for me, downtown is like Ula Ula or Parque Libertad. Yeah. yeah, Parque Libertad. Yeah. Something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I live a little bit farther from there. Not, okay. yeah. Yeah, not, not right there. Okay. So um, I work as an artisan in a company making artisanal bracelets. Oh, nice. And, uh, and I like to study uh, languages. And right now I'm trying to uh, complete, complete my English. Very good. Thank you. So you make bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. For a company. Okay. okay, very good. Sarah? Sarah Peraza. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Sarah. My name is Sarai, Sarai Peraza. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarai. Yes. I don't um, know why the letters are very, very small. In my... Well, <laughs> let me tell you something, actually. Uh, on the weekend, in my desktop, my monitor, the, my big monitor, suddenly, boom. You know, like... Mm -hmm. It, it went crazy, the colors. <laughs> so I changed to a smaller mm -hmm. monitor. And you see the difference. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry. Okay, Sarai. Okay, sorry. No, okay. Um, nice to meet you. And I am a math teacher. And I need to improve my speaking. And... I live in Toyopango and I, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. What do you teach? Math. Oh, good. What grade? Yeah. What grade do you teach? Oh, in uh, high school and university. 
So, oh, nice. Yes. Nice. Good for you. Thank you. Laura. Thank you. Hi. Hello, Laura. Uh, um, my name is Laura Guillén. I'm 20 years old. I live in Sonsonate. Uh, I'm a student. I'm currently studying a bachelor's degree on science of education at nice. Universidad del Salvador. And I'm hoping to improve my English. And do you study in, in Sonsonate or San Salvador? No, San Salvador, Universidad del Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in this moment, your class is online, correct? Yeah. Oh, good for you. Because after, I imagine, imagine traveling every day from San Sonata to San Salvador. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Um, sometimes uh, last year, well, two years ago, I decided to leave there. So yeah, it's it was better. It's easier huh? for me. Yeah. Yes, that's why many people do that. They rent a room or a house here, right? Yeah, because it's really difficult. Yes. Okay, thank you. Ovidio, hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, my name is Ovidio Bautista. I'm an electrical engineer. I work in ETESAL. And I need to improve my, my English because uh, for me it's not, it's not easy. <laughs> but I try to speak. Okay. Ovidio, when I'm going to ask you a question. When let's say my charger, the charger for my cell phone. Mm -hmm. If I leave it connected and not using it, is it still reproducing energy? Okay, I, 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 I work for, the cell is a company for a elect, electrical company. I, it's not for not for cell phone. No, 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 no. But but you told me that you're an oh, electrical so. engineer, right? Yeah. No, it's it's yeah. just a question. I no, it's just that you know curiosity because uh, I don't know. Maybe you know the answer, but or anybody here in the class because I have a problem. I charge my telephone, and when I finish, oh, yeah. but I leave it connected always, and I always imagine, is it still reproducing energy or no? If there's no contact, um, mm, I think I think yes. Yes, uh, maybe I should stop yeah. doing that. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, video. Mm -hmm. What about you, Guillermo? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm I sorry. You sure. I, you made an, an excellent question, but I don't know, I don't know if you understand uh, the 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 guy. If you understood, if you understood what you said, because it's a nice question that you just say. I wanted, I want to say, I have thought on, on that also. You know, yes. I, I, also, I, also, I also have doubt on that the question. If you, I could leave the child to connect to it, it just feel. Yes, but at the end, he uh, said that maybe, it maybe does reproduce uh, energy maybe, still. Yes or no? I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm going to check it out yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, definitely, because I, I also have that, uh, 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 that dog too. Yes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Guillermo. <laughs> okay. Hi, sir. Good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, Baltrons, that, that, uh, I'm great. Thank you for asking. Um, Baltrons is not a common last name here. Are you Salvadorian or? No, it's not. I mean, um, well, yes, I am from here, but my um, my grandmother and my grandfather were Catal from Catalonia. Oh, really? Cool, cool. So I okay, am uh, I am Barcelona. It's in my blood. <laughs> Bar Barcelona yeah, bet, is a very nice city, teacher. Yeah, you know, I have never I have never been there. I every every time I always say I'm gonna go this year. I'm gonna go this year. I never gone. All my family has yeah, gone except me. Be, it should be an amazing city. Oh, yeah. you need to know it. Yes, I want to go someday. <laughs> yes. Okay, good, good evening, everybody. My name is Guillermo. I'm 39 years old. So I'm leaving 
without Marriott here in Santa Tecla. And I'm a customer service representative in a call center, actually. Oh, good. Which call yeah. center do you work in? Uh, at this moment, I'm working at Concentrix. Yep. All right, nice. Yeah, we're, we're working at home this time, these days, so which is better, oh. I think. And which account are you in? The name of the account, it's Sam's Club. It's like uh, price mark here. Um, Wait. Okay. Yep. Oh, very Actually, good. Actually, I'm not taking calls. I'm just uh, I'm just chatting with members and also sending or receiving emails, basically. Yep. That's that's so cool. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, it's very, very cool, actually. <laughs> nice. When you have been in a voice account, it's very different. It's much better. Oh, yeah. Actually. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Gary. Gary Monches? Hi. Hi. What is your last name, Gary? Monches. Oh, good. I never heard that last name before. Yeah. I know, and sometimes it's confused with Monje, Montes. I have some troubles. <laughs> oh man, I have that problem with my name. They always give me Beltran, Beltran. Una vez me pusieron Botran. <laughs> well, that, that was kind of cool. Do you like the wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I have problems though. So every time I, I, I go somewhere, I always say, can, can you please check my name? I always check if they if they spell it right because that causes a lot of problems. Yeah, I know. Yes, it, 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 sounds like, strange. it sounds like Voltron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was my <laughs> name. When I was a little kid, that's what they called me. <laughs> okay. <Voltron. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet it was. Yes. Okay, Gary, so tell me about, tell the class about you. Okay. Well, my name is Gary Montes. I live in Colonia Laico, near from Universidad de Salvador. I work, uh, I work at a technology company. The name is PBS in the collection department. Okay. I don't know PBS, what PBS. I've heard of PBS before. Yeah, we are, uh, uh, we work for Xerox, uh, Cisco, Oracle. Um, okay. And are you working from home or you're working normally? Uh, we are in a mix. I stay home. Uh, then I go to the office two days and then the three days here at home. We are still working on that. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, and now we have, thank you, Kari. Now we have Juana. Yes, I'm here. Hello, Juana. Okay. Nice to meet right? you, teacher. Nice to Pero meet you. Sabe. Yes. Where, where is that name from? Uh, I don't know exactly, but is the it was the name of my grandmother, and and my mother too. That's the reason because I I have the same name okay. of them. Oh, yes. Um, okay. I've, something about me. I I am an industrial engineer. I work in a sewing company. Um, I am the assistant of the quality manager of this company. I love my work. I love with many people. And, so do, do you um, work? Do you work like in a textile company? Excuse me. That do you work life? like in in a in a textile company? Tax tax textile. Mm, textile. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because you said you work in a sewing company, right? So sewing, sewing company um, is a maquila. Yes. Okay. It's a textile. Okay. Yeah. Uh, textile. Okay. In a, um, in the quality department, and it's it's very good because uh, I I have the responsibility of uh, to. Uh, uh, with the quality of the uh, every garment that we produce in this company, and it's a little stressful because the all the produce is 
is a lot of quantity of garment that we produce and we need to be sure that the quality is very good. Yes, uh, because course. our customer are very um, demanding. Uh, I say strict. Yes, demanding. Yes, and um, I live with my mom and my and my son in Santa Tecla. Okay, and it's a good place, and I I love my my home. Very and good. I'm very. I'm very happy to be in this class because I want to improve my English. And um, it's my dream to, to speak very good and uh, to, to understand it uh, better. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, I have a lot of, um, how you say, um, a lot of expect expectation Okay. In, with this course. Very and good. Okay. I'm very happy to to be with the the, the my friends, my my um, my friends and, and, and it's is happy. It's happy for me. Thank very you. Very good. Thank you, Juana. Nice. Welcome. Thank you. We're happy to have Thank you. you. Um Thank which you. textile company do you, so you work in a free zone. Where do you work? Uh is 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 a, we have uh Two, two facilities in a free zone, San Bartolo. And we uh -huh. have, ah, no, in San Bartolo and Santa Ana and two in Soyapango. Okay. It's a big company. And uh, you, its you, name you, is, uh, yes? No, I'm sorry, what is the name? Intradesa. Intradesa, oh, okay. And uh, yes. you, you see all the companies, the quality. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, but I have uh, almost 20 years uh, working in this company and I know everything about the quality. I need to know uh, oh. a, of the different customers that we have. I remember, I remember a long time ago, I used to work as a translator in a, in a textile company. But it was oh, fruit of the good. loom. Yes, it's a very good yeah. company. I'm here. And that's when that's when I discovered the world of textiles, and it's really interesting. Yes, it's good. All right, nice. Thank you. Okay, and Yanira. Good evening, teacher, and good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I love name? your I love your chair. <laughs> yes, my Very last teacher said the same. Huh? Yes, my last teacher said oh, the yeah. same. Yeah, you know, now when you work from home, life. is you envy that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> no, but I work in the office. I work every day. Oh, well, man. it's nice to see you, everybody, again after a long vacation. But it's, it is good to see you again. Well, my, uh, I work for a government institution. I work at FONAT. I, I am the treasurer. I manage the money and all the payments. And um, what is FONAT? I my work. FONAT is Fondo para la Atención a las Víctimas de Accidentes de Tránsito. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, good. Uh, I didn't know that exists. Yes, it, it exists. We exist. Uh, and we, we attend all the victims that, that go to the institution and we gave them a quantity of money for for the accidents and I like very much my job because it's a human it's a human work I'm sorry, I was on mute. Yeah, it is a very nice job. I mean, 
anything where you can help a human being is awesome. Yeah. And where do you live? I live, during the week I live in San Marcos. And on weekends, I go to my house in Chalchuapa. Oh, oh man, Yuca. Yes. Hmm. Okay, very it's good. It's a um, beautiful city. Very good. Okay, let me tell you about um, what we're going to do this month. Uh, this is what we're going to do this month, okay? What? Can, can you hear me? What? Yes. What we are going to do this month? Yes, yes, um, in general. Okay, so like I said, my name is David Baltrans. Well, and... No, I'm, I'm going to introduce myself right now to and okay. the expectations. Okay. Um, I love how everybody spoke. Everybody spoke very nice. I did not hear any mistake. That's good. That's very strange to hear. Do you know what are the, the essential, do you know how many essential keys there are for English? You mean like the main skills or? Yes, what are the, main, like the, the most important things that you need to do in English? I'm not sure if you're referring about listening, speaking, reading and so on. Yes. Okay, um, okay. It's actually three things. Number one would be comprehension. And number two would be your um, flu fluency. Right. Your fluency is how you speak. Yep. And number three would be your grammar. And um, I'm, I'm really happy that I, I heard a lot of this in everybody today. And the problem is that, you know, I've been a teacher for more than 15 years. And do you know how many times I have heard? Es que mire, profesor, yo entiendo todo. A mí lo que me cuesta es hablarlo. And, and the problem is because people don't practice that. Imagine this. Imagine I evaluate somebody in this moment and I say, hi, what is your name? Juan, are you married? No. Where do you live? In Los Planes. Where do you work? In Pizza Hut. Very good. Do you think Juan speaks English? No. No, he understands English. But... He understands. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. if, I, if, if I evaluated, if, if people tell me, hey, evaluate Juan, uh, wow, he has very good comprehension. What? What? So, and now I tell him again, okay, Juan, I'm going to repeat the questions, but I need you to speak in complete, in a complete sentence. What is your name? My name is Juan. Where do you live? I am do living in Los Planes. Where do you work? I am do working in Pizza Hut. Are you married? No, I am, do not. What is one's problem? Grammar. Grammar. But you know, the, the good thing is that with one, I'm not going to worry about comprehension. So now with one, I only need to worry about his grammar to perfection his English, you know? Mm -hmm. So that, that's the key to English. So when I ask you a question, Always please try to, to answer complete because there I can hear your mistake. And, and I understand sometimes it's difficult because we Salvadoreños are very cómodos. <laughs> yes, a veces, hey, ¿qué tal fin de semana? La casa. We understand what that means. Right? What does that mean? Uh, it means that the it. person didn't go out. Uh, yeah. Didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. But sometimes I do that in English. Hi, how was your weekend? And they tell me the same thing. My house. 
that does not exist in English. And then I say, like, my house, what? You, you can't say that to a gringo. Hey, how's your weekend? My house. No, you have you have, you need to speak more. Yes. You know, so that that's what that's what we're going to practice here. Okay. Um. And and there are there are tricks to okay. practice grammar. There are tricks to practice fluency, and there are tricks to practice um, comprehension. Okay. Do you know how, how to practice fluency? Mm -hmm. What do you know what fluency no. is? I don't yes. have yeah. How speak? Yeah, how fast you speak. And key or you can speak. Mm -hmm. When people ask me how do I practice fluency? Well, what I would do is I would read a children's book. <laughs> yes, but a very, okay. very simple children's book. Why? Because every page of that book only has two or three sentences. And then you go to the next page. But this is the problem. <laughs> Imagine Mickey Mouse woke up and he called Minnie Mouse. He took a shower and went to work. Teachers, it's not facile. But it's not, it's not comprehension we're practicing. I want to practice fluency. Read that again. Read it until it sounds Mickey Mouse woke up and he went to work. On his way to work, he called Minnie Mouse. He stopped at a, at a store and he bought two oranges. You know, that's how you practice fluency. But think small, don't think big. Yes. I would recommend you to watch movies for children or cartoons for children. They're very good. Because like I said, don't watch Fast and the Furious. He said, okay, no, we have seen subtitulo y nada. And then, oh, teacher, no, man. <laughs> no entendí nada. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that happens when I try to see CSI, for example. Oh, it's so difficult to understand. Well, sometimes I don't understand CSI. <laughs> because when, <laughs> oh, they start, okay. when they understand, when they start using all those technical terms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know why? Because when they make CSI, they don't think, they don't think, they don't think, they don't, think, they don't make CSI for people that can't speak English. Mm -hmm. Or well, people say I'm an ESL. You are ESL students. Do you know what ESL is? No. ESL, no. English as second language. Okay. Um. So remember, I mean, the, the you know, the director of CSI know I said, hey, no, but let, let's do this for our ESL students because yes. then the show would be, hey, you stop, turn around, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, so um, I would recommend you like, th this is what I tell people, you know, like, watch Dora la Exploradora. Watch one, one episode. Was it very easy? Did you understand 80, 85%? Good, escalate, escalate until you find it difficult. Okay. But don't go to South Park. Hmm. No, you know which one, Friends, is a good option. Friends? Friends, yeah. Yeah, you know, Friends is not bad. No, uh -huh. you understand. I under I try to, to watch it in English and I understand. Yeah, I recommend you like Toy, Toy Story. Um, Toy Story. Toy Story is good. Yes, because they're, they're movies made for children and adults. But remember, so everybody has to understand that movie. But for example, Fast and the Furious is not made for children. No. So, okay. so think about that. I mean, if the, if the movie has to be for every age, they have to understand it. It's like sometimes when I have Spanish students, when they are like advanced, I mean, what, what do you think? What do you think I show them? 
Chespirito o Eugenio Derbez? La familia Peluche. I show him Chespirito. Chespirito. Because Chespirito is actually, I mean, sometimes I don't understand los peluches because that's a lot of slang. And for somebody who is learning Spanish, that's not really the best show to watch. Even if you don't like Chespirito, but just watch it because it's very simple language. And that's how it is in English. So I recommend you read books in English, watch Sesame Street. I love Sesame Street. Listen to music from the 60s, from the 50s. Okay. Good music. Look, listen to the 50s, 60s, forget the 70s, and, and then the 80s. Because the 70s is all psychedelic. <laughs> Too many drugs in, <laughs> in that time. <laughs> the doors. Yes. I mean, I don't think even the doors <laughs> understand the music of the doors. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, so remember, so yeah, so that's what I'm telling you. When you want to practice, because sometimes people do this, like, oh man, we're still adding less, and they just get a book and they just start reading their notes. No, and then just analyze. ¿Qué quiero practicar? My comprehension, my fluency, or my grammar. Let's say my fluency. Okay, buscar libros en línea para niños. Incluso la caperucita roja sería bueno. Y les ayuda porque ya se puede en la historia. Hmm. But the objective is, this is easy. No, remember, you're reading Caparacita Roja because you want to practice fluency. Yes. You want to say, she was going through the woods to visit her grandmother and the big bad wolf appeared. All right. That's how you practice. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? Not at all. But, uh, I don't know if I can ask you about the exercise of the website. Oh Talking. yeah. We're, yes, we're going to do those. Don't worry. I mean, today oh. was just today was just like I get to know you. What I expect from you, I really hope you ask me questions. And um, please. From me, expect that I will correct you. I will correct you in the moment. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And um, because that's important to correct you right there. Yes. And if and always ask me, por qué? Like, good. Yeah. Okay. This is why you said this, and it's like this. Tongue, tongue twisters. What about tongue twisters? Oh yeah, tongue twisters are good. <laughs> yeah, they are good to improve the pronunciation when you are trying to speak faster and so on. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, English is very easy compared to Spanish. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> you should see Spanish students. They get what? <laughs> Because, like, look, in English, drink. A ver. I drink, you drink. We drink, they drink. That, that's simple in English. In Spanish, no. Okay, alumno, drink, beber. They drink, yo beber. No, yo bebo. Why? Because. <laughs> tú, you drink, tú beber. No, tú bebes. Yeah, this is yes. instead baby, depending. So then they have to memorize everything, you know. De beber, a yo bebo, tu bebes, el bebe, bebemo, bebem, bebem. You know, like they have to memorize a verb in five different forms. Yes, it's complicated. Yes, I mean, Spanish, really, I'm happy that we speak Spanish as our native tongue. <laughs> And you know, I, I have never heard somebody speak perfect Spanish. Oh. I mean, somebody who has learned Spanish, but like speak perfect. I, I mean, they always say a little mistake anyway, but because it's very difficult. Yeah. And Spanish is yes. much easier. I mean, I'm sorry, English is easier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, by my house, <laughs> by my house, there's this backpacker. Um, you know what a backpacker is, right? Yeah. 
I don't know. It's, it's those, what is it? Those people that you see from different countries and they're always with a backpack and Mochileros. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, I understood. And um, every time I go to the store, he he's from Holland. <laughs> and he always gets happy when he sees me because I speak English. I go, hey, how are you? Uh, but I don't really talk to him that much because um, I don't know. I don't want to be very friendly with him because I feel that someday he's going to ask me, can I stay in your house? <laughs> <laughs> And I, I live with my wife and my son, you know? Yeah. I don't know if, I don't know. So I want to avoid that, but he's a nice person. And, and one day he told me, hey, teach me Spanish. And I said, um, okay, I'm going to teach you three words. And he said, okay, I need you to say, yo voy a. And he said, Yo voy a, no, I mean, three separate words, you know, yo voy a, and he did it. He says, yo voy a, what is that? Just remember that, practice that, and I'll see you tomorrow. Because every time I go buy French bread or something, he's there drinking beer. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I ended up going, and he says, okay, did you remember what I taught you? He says, yeah, okay, tell me, yo voy a. And then I told him, okay, congratulations, you speak Spanish, you, sp you can speak future in Spanish. He said, why? Because now all you need is to put a verb and a complement, and you speak Spanish. Do you know how to say drink in Spanish? So yeah, beber, okay, do it. Yo voy a beber cerveza, well, very good. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to say eat, comer? All right. He says, yo voy a comer pupusas. And I said, oh my God, in two minutes, I taught him Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> wow, at least, at least that part. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it was, but what I wanted to teach him was the, the technique. And that's how it is in English. And then I told him, look, I do not, I do not know how many words there are in Spanish. But I promise you, every new verb you learn is going to go after voy a. So what you need to do right now is learn two verbs a day and learn vocabulary for that verb. Okay. So um, if, if you're going to learn the verb jugar, write things okay. that go with jugar. Jugar cartas, jugar fútbol, jugar bla, bla, bla. That's it. And then yo voy a jugar cartas. And he was so happy with me. And then I, I never saw him after that. I don't know what happened. Because my next step was each, I was going to teach him how to ask the question. And it's the same technique. Tú vas a. Tú vas a. But there has to be a word. ¿Qué tú vas a? ¿A dónde tú vas a? ¿Cuándo tú vas a? ¿Por qué tú vas a? The verb and the compliment. But I didn't see him, so. But I'm happy that I taught him Spanish in two minutes. Okay. So that's how it is in English. That's how it is in English, all right? I mean, people say, oh, man, the verbs are difficult. I see some people that they download or they go to Google. They go to Google and they download verbos de la a la Z. Come on, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that because you're not going to remember every verbs what I do recommend you is for example a video you told me that you are an electrical technician yes teacher so you have a unique vocabulary technical technical vocabulary yes uh, Juana you work in the in the um, textile industry you have a different yes. vocabulary yes. You see yes. some verbs that I don't know, but all you need to learn is those verbs. If you're going to practice verbs, then practice verbs that you see around your everyday life. Yes. Like Guillermo, you work in the call center industry. 
you must see like a lot login log yep. out yep uh -huh. you know like a lot of verbs that you see in your everyday life yes yep that's what i recommend you okay all right so do you have any questions no okay, okay. the first the first um the first verb that, well, the first part of the, um, you are ingles avanzado dos, correct? All right. Yes, teacher. Sure. The first video that we're going to see, look, these videos are easy. I mean, I know that you understand them, but what I want to do is let's work around the videos. Okay. Let's understand more about the videos. Okay, we're going to practice about gerunds and infinitives. Do you know what is a gerund? Right. ING for the ING? The ING form. What is an infinitive? When we two use plus the verb. Two. All right, good. So wait, I'm going to share my screen right now. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, yeah. yes, teacher. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm going to share it. Welcome to Advanced Module 2. Can In our hear? first topic, we'll go over in yes. the yes. 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 phrases. We have studied this before, but don't worry, we'll explain it again so you feel comfortable with it. It plus be plus adjective or noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with gerund phrases. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. It's a good idea to try out different topics. Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. Trying out different topics is a good idea. The word considered may also follow be in this kind of sentence. Is considered impolite to interrupt people. Interrupting people is considered impolite. These sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. It's customary for the complementary to say nice things about others. Saying nice things about others is customary for the complementary. We will begin our explanation by reminding you that gerunds and infinitives are both verbals. In other words, verbals are words formed from a verb but functioning as a different part of a speech, usually a noun. Gerunds are formed adding an ing ending and infinitives are composed of two plus a verb. In the structure just presented above, it becomes the subject of the sentence in the infinitive phrase. And ignoring, trying out, interrupting and saying are gerunds acting as subjects as well. Notice there's no changing meaning. Look at the following chart. Read it and decide whether they are using infinitive or gerund phrases. You can't see that, can you? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. yeah, don't worry about that. Let's do our own. So it's very simple, right? I like to okay. eat. Nutella. Or I like eating Nutella. It's no problem. It's the same thing. Uh, if you ask me what is the difference between a gerund and an infinitive, really, it's more popular to speak in, uh, with gerunds. Okay. Or the majority of the people speak more with gerunds. But you can use, you can use, um, Infinitives too. Okay, so I'm going to give you a sentence and you tell me if it's infinitive or gerund, okay? okay. Let okay. me see. Kelly. You're on mute, Kelly. I 
I think you're still on mute. Kelly? Yeah, I think, Yali, fix your, your microphone because it's not working. Meanwhile, I'll go to Yanira. Okay. Yanira, to smoke? Infinitive. Wait, let me finish the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To smoke is bad for you. It's infinitive or infinitive. Okay, good. All right, Janita. Oh, what we, we it's, it's smoking is bad for health. There you go. Smoking smoking is bad for you. Yes. All right. Sarai. Yes, teacher. I don't like. I don't like eating cream. Is yes. that a gerund or an infinitive? Gerund. What is infinitive? Uh, repeat, please. I don't like eating cream. Um. I don't know. <laughs> so it's, I don't like. I don't like cream. to eat cream. Yes. I, I don't like, like to eat cream. cream. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I hate to eat cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Kelly, are you okay now? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I like listening to rock music. Maybe Jaden's. Why maybe? <laughs> I said the essential part. I like listening to rock music. It is a Jaren. Yeah, it's a Jaren. What is infinitive? I I like no. Mm -hmm. I like to listen. I like to listen to rock music. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat, please? I like to listen to rock music. No. I like I like to music. Something like this, I couldn't hear as well. I like listening to rock music. What is infinitive? I like to listen to rock music. Exactly. Nelly, what music do you like to listen to? I like uh, listening music like... For example, salsa, merengue. Okay, good. So I like listening to tropical music. I like listening to tropical music. Okay. I like listening to. It's always I important like to. I like listening to. I like listening to tropical good. music. Um, that's that's a good. Here's a tip. When it's verbs de sentidos, listen, look, talk. Van a llevar to. Listen to. Talk to. Wow. And look at. Okay. Okay. Cualquier otro verbo ya no lleva to. I like drinking coffee. I like yes. to drink coffee. I like to drink coffee. But, but you don't say, I like drinking to coffee. So uh, in gerunds, you only use to and at in some okay? fields, okay. okay? Yes? Yes. Everybody okay? Yes, yes, yes. Kelly, yes? 
Yes, sir. Okay. okay, so yeah, in this case, Kelly, I like listening to tropical music. ¿Por qué lleva two aquí, Kelly? Because it's a uh, um, sensi. Sense verb, yeah. Good. Sense. Yeah, sense. Ovidio. What do you like watching? I like to watch uh, uh, music uh, in karaoke. karaoke. Really? Do you like to oh, sing karaoke? I, I like to. I yes, yes, I like. Nice. I like to sing. What do you sing? Or depending mm -hmm. on the drinks. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Depend. No, no. Yeah, you start with ACDC, no, uh, ACDC, no, Guns no, N' Roses, and you finish with Chente. Yeah, I like the, the Spanish <laughs> or the 70s or 80s. All right, good. Eduardo. Yeah. Uh, Eduardo, can you tell me something you don't like doing? Yeah, I like to do. No, something you don't like doing. Uh, yeah, I like to uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow, Eduardo, if you can get a earphones or headset, because I, I, I don't know if it's only me. But I, I can't hear you that well. You you hear class, can you hear him? No, no, no. 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 Oh, okay, okay, good. <laughs> it's not only me then. So maybe tomorrow, uh, Eduardo, you can have earphones. Okay, now you hear me? Need a bit more. Yes, I can hear you better, but not great. We're all now. Do you, do you hear me now? It's like not, yes. not clear, right? I mean, I can hear you better, yes, but not clearly. Okay, because I hear you very well. You yeah, because I imagine that you're using a laptop and you're using the microphone from the laptop. No, no, I'm, I'm using a, a, a earphone. Oh, oh really? Boy, I, yeah. No, I know what happened. Check on the settings of um, Zoom. Yeah. It, it, if your laptop is using the default, or is if it's using, because maybe you're talking to me through the laptop microphone and you don't know. Mm -hmm. That happened to me one time. Okay. Uh, now. Do, do you hear me? Yes. Well, I mean, not great. Yeah, because I I hear you very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, then change. Maybe it's change it's here, the right? microphone. <laughs> we can hear you clearly. Yeah, they, they, they can hear me. Okay, well, my, well, you know, maybe tomorrow we, we have a different yeah, connection. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to look for our <laughs> Okay, okay, class, listen, so um, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, thank you very much. This is what we're going to do every day. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the videos and, and the exercises. And okay. uh, like uh, like um, Brian said, okay. we're going to practice all the assessments. Okay. Okay. Thank and you so yes. much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you Have a, a great Monday. It was a pleasure. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.